Hello, welcome to the second video in this mini series getting Mixumol characters to walk or move in Unity 3D. In this video we're going to get the boss to hopefully turn and look at a point that we've defined and walk towards it. To do this we're going to need a script to control the boss. So in assets I'm going to right click, create C sharp script and call this boss controller and drag this boss controller into the hierarchy on top of the boss. I'll just check in the inspector if I select the boss that the component of the script has been added and it has. And one thing you'll notice that's on the boss is we've got the transform here and this is going to be important for what's about to happen. So we'll start off by editing our script. I'll double click on boss controller. That brings up Visual Studio Code for me. I'm assuming in this video, like in the last one with making projects, that you have some kind of uh, script editor available. Unity should have uh, Visual Studio Code by default, I think. And to move our boss, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a vector 3, so a 3D vector, because we're in 3D space, that we'll call target. And we're going to need a speed we want to move at. And we'll set this to 1.0. In the future, when we want to click around the, the plane and have the boss move towards wherever we've clicked, we're going to need to update our target again and again. So we'll write a function to, to do that call, I don't know, set new target. And that can take in a vector three called uh, new target. And inside here, the first thing we can do is set our target to be equal to new target. And when we've done that, the other thing we need to do is when we set a new target is we need to rotate and look at that target. So we'll take our transform and call the look at function, which is available on the transform class to look at our target. The last thing we need to do to actually be able to test this is set a target. So when we first start up before the first frame, we'll set our boss a target to actually turn and look at. So we're going to call set new target with an argument of a new vector three. And all that remains here is to set a target. And we'll use X and Z plus 10 and leave Y the same because we don't want to go up or down or anything like that. So here then we've set the current position plus 10 units in the X and the Z direction and kept the, uh, the Y as it is. So back into Unity. Should be able to go to the game view, press play and see the boss at least rotate. And there you go, the boss is rotating. The next thing we need to do is a little bit more tricky. We need to get the boss to actually walk towards wherever it is, wherever our target is. And I've got a little site open here from, I don't know, wpcalc.com. I just put 3D vector magnitude into Google quickly just to try and explain what's going to happen because if you're not used to this, it can be a little tricky to get your head around and understand. Let's imagine our boss is at the zero axis here and the target we've set is this P235. And we want to do something which is called translate. So we want to move from this point zero zero to this point P. Now if I subtract zero from P, I'll end up with a vector with a certain magnitude. In this case, it's 6.16. That's the distance of this red arrow here. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is subtract of where we want to go to, which is the target. We're going to subtract from that where we actually are, our current transform position. And that will give us a vector with a magnitude or a distance of how to get there. The thing is, we want to get there in small increments. We want to walk effectively along this red line. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we use translate to walk along a vector of a particular magnitude. And to break this up, what we're going to do, we're going to use something called normalize. And you can see this in uh, the Unity documentation. That takes a vector, keeps the same direction, but puts the length down to one. So each time you use a normalized vector, you get the same direction, but instead of the line being, in this case, 6.16 units long, it'll become one unit long every time. And why is that important? Well, that's important because if I just go back to the script, when we call update, we call update once every frame. The time elapsed between each frame varies very, very slightly, and we want to maintain what looks like a constant speed. So what we're going to do is calculate our direction to our target using the subtraction we've seen. Then we're going to normalize it so that the distance is one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by our speed and then by the time that's elapsed since the last per frame. And that will have the effect, because we've normalized the vector to one, that each time the distance that we travel will be proportional to whatever the time has elapsed since the last frame and will have the effect of making us look at the same walk at the same speed towards the target. It's quite a mouthful to explain and say. It's actually a lot simpler in the code. So let's uh, just go for doing it in the update. So we have a new frame. So we'll say that our direction is equal to the target that we have minus our transform.position. And once we have that, we now need to do this translation. So transform.translate, 
And inside here we need to give two arguments. One is where we're going to and the other one is what space it's relative to, which will be the world. So we're going to go to the direction normalized multiplied by the speed and multiplied by the time delta since the last frame. And that's all we need here actually to once we've uh, when we go into update to actually walk towards in little increments our target. So let's go and have a look at this working inside Unity. So let that compile. I'm just going to back into the scene, zoom out a tiny bit, move us around here a little bit as well, zoom out a little bit more, click on main camera, game object and align with view, go back to the game tag and press play. And we can see that we rotate and start walking off towards whether, wherever our target might be. Now the speed looks slightly slow there. I'm just going to go back into the script and change this to 1.1. Back into Unity, let's play again. Okay, and that looks a little bit better. Good, so that's it then for this video. We've got to the stage now where we can see our character actually walking to a point that we've defined. In the next video, what we're going to do is click around this blue plane and actually get the character walking towards it. So thanks very much for watching. Hope that was sort of clear and uh, maybe see you in the next video.